Hi, this is Marla Blunt Carter from Rutgers School of Social Works Toward a More Just Future. During my time with Delaware Congresswoman Lisa Blunt Rochester, I asked a few extra questions that didn't make our episode. Here's a rapid fire with Congresswoman Blunt Rochester. What is your proudest achievement? Proudest achievement? Today, I will say getting up. Um, <laughs> um, and, and I can't say, you know, I, a lot of times I think of my children because they're so incredible, but I love, there's a, a, a Gabron poem called On Children. Right. And it basically says your children are not your children. Like they, they, they come through you, but they are not you. So, they, they, but they make me proud. They right. make me proud. Yeah. Yes. So what was the hardest thing you have ever done? Run for Congress. I, I'll attest to that. I was a witness. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you admire? And I know that that list is long and I share uh, with you and most of them, but off the top of your head, if I, you know, if you could name three people, I'm not going to just give you one. Three okay. people that you admire most. My mom, my dad, and my two sisters. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, who motivates you? Um, God motivates me, but, um, but you and my daughter, my family, and I have some key friends that keep me going. You so know? your circle. My circle. My, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your yeah, circle's circle. tight. Okay. My circle okay. is very tight and very motivating, especially when I need that, that, that energy, but, but it comes from God. So now let's get to the more trivial. Are yeah. there any books that you've recently read that have had an impact on you? Any books uh, and then any movies ooh, as well, because I know ooh. that you are a movie buff. Oh man. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Um, Books. So I just read a book that I cannot remember the title of, and it's killing me. I can't remember if it was a. Uh, oh, it was this book about the, the. Your daughter turned me on to it about um, the family from Africa. Their oh, Africa home going, homecoming. Oh, no, homecoming. Yes. yes. Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. That was so. It was really. You know, I was actually in the middle of reading Cast, mm-hmm. and I wanted to like take a break and even though this was not much lighter, <laughs> the break, but right. it was, but I love writing. And so like, and I, I'm, I'm a writer. And so um, before that I had read the, um, the, the book by um, uh, Tanahashi Coates, the um, water, um, water dancer. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, that was so beautifully written as well. So I, I love books, but you know, I'm a movie buff. Um, yes, you are. <laughs> movies are, are, are my thing. And, and right now I feel like I've like seen so many different things, but the, but uh, on that one night in Miami was the, oh, one gosh. of the most recent ones that I've watched that, oh man, I just love that. It was so powerful. Powerful. Okay. That's fantastic. And you know, sadly, this is rapid fire and we didn't get a chance to include um, a big part of who you are in our interview, which is that you are a writer. So I'm glad that you did share that with everyone. And that's why the the book is is a hard thing for you to do because you love books as well as movies. So now let's get to the last rapid fire question. Um, Oh, and I'm reading Barack Obama's book right now, though. That's oof. And I'm listening on Audible. Yeah. So what's the greatest lesson that you've learned and who or what taught you that lesson? What's the greatest lesson? Let go, let God. Mm. It's the lesson I'm still trying to learn. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I wish I could say I fully have fully learned it. And who has taught me this lesson? Um, life. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Charles, when Charles died, um, that was really, really probably the most transformational moment of my life Mm -hmm. um, in terms of every single emotion and living it. And that's why I say even getting up sometimes for many of us is an accomplishment. Right. You know, Um, and then most recently having been in the the balcony, the the gallery of the Capitol when the insurrection took place, um, I remember thinking, I didn't feel like I was going to die, but I felt like everything came together for that moment. 
And all I could do was pray. Wow. And I knew I don't have bullets. I don't have power over these people, but I have the power of prayer and the letting go mm -hmm. and letting God take mm -hmm. care of us. And that's, I learn it every day. I learn that lesson every day. Wow. Well, thank you for the rapid fire. Thank you for sharing your wisdom. And thank you for joining us today. Thanks, Marla. <laughs>